Hi everyone, this is the Gas Walkthrough for August 1st. I'm Philip Newman. Today I'm solving Wound Up Here by Holding On by Bill Murphy. This is a frame Sudoku. Uh, before I talk about the rules for the puzzle, I will mention this is the first puzzle for August. Um, every year, this is our fourth year doing it, we have a guessing game in August. Uh, so you can guess what the next day's variant is going to be. Um, if you only see these on YouTube and solve these on YouTube, um, just keep in mind you're going to be a day behind uh, the uh, Grandmaster Puzzles post and the Discord post. Um, don't spoil the answer for anybody else, uh, but feel free to play along. It's, it's for a bonus hat. It's just on our system. Um, no high stakes or anything like that. Um, there is some sort of logical rule um, that will lead you to at least a better guess, if not the exact variant that we're going to use. Um, so keep an eye on that, see if you can figure out what the rule is. Um, anyway, today's puzzle is a frame Sudoku. We have normal Sudoku rules, one to nine each row, column, and three by three box. Additionally, we have some clues outside the grid, and the clues give the sum of the first three digits in the direction away from the clue. So these three digits must sum to 19 because there's a 19 here. These three digits must sum to 12. These three digits must sum to 17, etc. Those are the rules. And we'll get started with our low and high um, sums. Uh, six must be one, two, three. We have a three, but even if we didn't, must be one, two, three. The 13 is actually restricted because we have a nine. Um, we have four in the remaining cells. The only way to do that is one and three. That's going to resolve those. Uh, continuing around, 12 must be two, one. The two is restricted um, because we have a nine in the box. We need 14 in these two cells, but we can't use five, nine. So this must be six, eight. 23 in three cells is always six, eight, nine. And we have the nine. Uh, if we need 19 and we already have a 3, these must sum to 16. There's only one way to do that. The 17 is restricted now. We need 10 in these two cells, but we can't use 1, 9, 2, 8, or 3, 7. So this must be 4, 6, and that's going to resolve our 8, eight 6 pairs. Um, this one isn't quite as restricted. Let's go to this one. 20 with a 3. We need 17 in the remaining cells. Only one way to do that. And then 13 with the 8 here. We need 5. We can't use 2, 3. So this must be 4, 1. Uh, the 13 here with the 1. We need 12. We can't have 3, 9, or 4, 8. So this must be 5 and 7. Uh, let's look at the other uh, well this one is is another 16 like this one um, so let's fill in our remaining digits these are four six these are five and three all right um the 18 here i think we can do we have we can't have one nine two eight or four six this time, so this must be seven three to make our ten. It's going to give us seven and five. These are four five, so that's four five in that order. Uh, Nineteen here with the seven, we need twelve. Can't have three nine or five seven, so this must be eight and four. These are two six. These are also two six. These are one eight. Uh, the 17, we need 13 in the remaining cells. We can't have four nine or five eight, so this must be six and seven. That's gonna resolve our two six. These are five and nine. These are seven eight, two five. All right, this 15 we'll come back to now. Um, we need six in the remaining cells, so that can't be six, obviously. Um, 
two would need a four and five would need a one. Both of those are possible right now. Uh, so we can't quite resolve it. I will note here, this is a slightly advanced trick. We have a four or five in this cell and we know one of these is four or five. So we can rule four and five out from all of these cells. Uh, we're probably not gonna use that, but uh, this is five, three from that three. Uh, the three in this box must go here, and that means we need a three here. That should be all the threes. I'm missing a nine here. All right, these can't be one, two. So then this is seven and four. These are six and eight. These are, well, there's an eight here. So this is seven, eight. This is four, six from the six. So these are one, two. These are four, five, seven. And I didn't end up using it here, but we have roping in this uh, stack. So we have the same three digits in each triple um, going down. That means we're also going to have it for the other triples. I've mentioned this before fairly recently, I think. Um, but you can verify that that has to happen if you like. Uh, this is not seven. What am I missing? I haven't used this 12 yet. Do we need to use it now? Uh, seven in this box must go here. So one, four, and eight. So the eight is here somewhere. This must be six, eight. One, eight, four, two. And that's gonna get us going in the middle. In fact, almost totally resolve everything there. The four gives us four, six. Again, having trouble typing the right digits. All right, now we need to resolve this. Um, these are one, two, eight. These are one, two, five. We can't have an eight here. That would already give us 14. That's way too much. Um, and a one, two pair is not gonna work here. With the six, that would only be nine. So this must be five with a one. And that is going to finish it off like so. That's the solution. So really, really clever from Bill. Um, a lot of variety in how these resolve. So we had the absolute min, max sort of things. Um, sometimes using just the frame rule, sometimes using the givens that are in the puzzle, a lot of those. And then the effects that those had on other clues. So for example, here, the 13, we needed five, seven here because we had already used the eight and the nine over here. Um, so really cool stuff. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it as well. Let us know how you did in the comments. Think about what my puzzle on the second might be, um, if you haven't already seen that. And I will see you next time.